Dermot, a very hard earned three points, but I think they deserve three points against Hartlepool today. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Good organised side, good players up front, uh, very uh, organised in blocking. Um, I still think we created chances, but I wasn't happy with the balance of um, Dean Cox in the first half. I think he was far too deep, playing like a left back at times, and I knew that's going to be a problem for me to get uh, if we play a three to get Josh slightly in the pocket. It worked better second half. Dean got in the area where he's uh, can hurt teams. Puts a great crossing, and you know James Collins kisses the ball in with his head. It's a super cross, super goal. James had a chance earlier, so I thought we created chances. I didn't think at the first half we pressurised them in the midfield enough, but um, it's a massive win, massive three points for us. Yeah, four home wins in a row, and that's important as well, just, just to keep that form here at the Chequers Trade going, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. With Portsmouth coming up next week, a big, big game. Fantastic crowd here, you know, your your initiative, Bruce, to, to sort of get everyone in it. It was a right buzz today, you know, and the attacks, there's a roar. And I, I, all week I've sensed in the office the, the staff working late. It's been brilliant. And, and, and I said to uh, Zia's rep, Hag, Nice, I feel the vibe of the club is from everybody, and it's so important, you know, that we have this. We are a club that's going to go on emotions, and um, I think today we, we we won that game through sheer endeavour and spirit and belief. Yeah, and I think a most important criteria when you get a lot of people who haven't been for a while or haven't been at all is to entertain them, which mm. I think we did, and create chances, which we did, and obviously to win the game. Yeah, I think when you hear the roar and then like, you bring Bobson on and he's going through and, and you, they, they can see we're not sitting for the draw, but in the, the, in the shape of things, Hartlepool will have their pressure time. Uh, and the, you know when Bobson's on the counter-attack and James Collins is running the crowd, a roar and it's, it's exciting. And I think that's what you want to see, and you just now you can hear the crowd outside, and I think that's a, a lovely vibe for yourself, who's been here a long time. This is new to me, but it's uh, hopefully going to get us back where we belong. James Collins was man of the match. Mm. Very hard to disagree with that assessment by the sponsors. Yeah. I mean, you, at, at this level, you pay, uh, you know, goals and, and finishing like that is absolutely priceless. Yeah, I just think he leads the line so well. He's so good at getting his body in uh, and uh, keeping the play up. The, the, the uh, end where we want to attack, and then just for the goal, it's just a sublime finish. But he's he's, he's a consistent trainer, consistent performer, a very professional man in terms of protein shakes after the game, rehydrating. It's a delight, and uh, you know he optimizes what we're about and the standard we we've got to maintain. You know, but you look at Jimmy and Josh in midfield, work tirelessly. Billy didn't have the best of first half, and I said to him, um, but he still gets on the ball and creates some magic. And then you've got people at the back that want to defend, and then Cat puts a great save and gets a kick in the head, and, and that's what we want. That's the spirit. What the I think the fans want to see that as much as they want to see good football, um, and I think we had that in abundance today. And next week we'll have to be at our best against Portsmouth, but with another big crowd here, yeah. you know, it's a great opportunity for the players, isn't it, to keep that home run going? Yeah, I think Portsmouth will have to be at their best, you know, because we've got good home form, you know, and we've learned from earlier games in the league where we're at. Um, and now we can build on the week. We'll have a little in-house game on Tuesday and we'll build the players into training again and we'll get the uh, same fitness levels up and sharpness of the mind. And we, we'll attack any side. You know, and if Paul Smith, you know, I've got a lot of time for Paul Cook. I think he's a great guy. They will come and play and we will play. So it will be another bumper crowd and I think everyone will go home buzzing.